Hi, my name is uh, Ian uh, Rathman. Uh, this is uh, my first metal detecting video. Uh, I am starting today at a place called Marlborough. Uh, it's famous for the uh, Royal Charter. There was uh, several bodies lost, and uh, yeah, the truth being out, there was 400 perished in, in October 1859, uh, and I'm actually just above where the ship went down. It's famous because the Royal Charter was on its way back from Australia on its on voyage to Liverpool, and uh, anyway, it sank with uh, people who had been gold mining. Uh, all these people were carrying sovereigns, gold nuggets and all kinds of things to bring back for their riches. Anyway, the ship went down after a storm in 1859 and it's lying down on the rocks. I'll just turn you around right, right down there. And uh, anyway, what they've done, they've uh, created a memorial towards them. So I don't know if you can actually read that in memory of the loss of this uh, steam uh, clipper, Royal Charter, which wrecked on these rocks uh, near during the hurricane of 26 of October 1859, 400 perished. Anyway, what they did, basically they took the bodies from here, they took them up the fields and they took them to a chapel at the top. What I'm trying to find out is if anything was lost while they were carrying these bodies up. Anyway, I'm going to have a good look anyway, I've got, this is my new permission and uh, as you can see what a beautiful place anyway um, you know, I'll, see, I'll see if I can find anything good which might not but you've got to try aren't you anyway I'd like to say a special hello to Paul Actorian Megadonkey in Lincolnshire I'd like to say another hello to Jed yeah, and uh, Mal in Oxford and the Pong Guru and uh, Sutton Way Shovelers, I've subscribed to you all, you, you know, hours and hours of viewing from you, absolutely loved them. Anyway, this is my effort of having a go, anyway, we'll see how we get on, I'll show you when I find my first find, see you in a bit. This is my first find, uh, it looks like uh, the bezel that holds the uh, fishing reel onto a rod. Anyway, there you go, just to show you that's my first find. Gold colour, but not the right sort of stuff I'm after. Anyway, there you go, see you in the next one. Here's my next find. Uh, it's a farthing, and it looks like 1919. It's very, very badly worn, as you can see, look. But I could just pick out the 1919. Anyway. There you go, that's my next find. See you at the next one. Right, this is my next find. It's in this pile here. It's in here somewhere. Oh no, it's this. Oh, dear me, never mind. It's a penny. Anyway, see you at the next one. Right, this is my next find. Somewhere at the bottom, let's have a look. Ah, what's that? Ah, squiddly. Nice one. Anyway, see you at the next one. Right, this is the next one. I've just literally two paces from that other hole I did. Let's have a look. Like an half penny. Oh, it looks like George V. That's how it looks like. That's the bus on it. Anyway, uh, can't quite make out the date, but I'll have a look later to let you know. Anyway, to the next one. Right, this is me uh, round up. I'll start with the uh, modern stuff. I've got three one pennies, one two pence, two pound coins. I've got one Irish uh, penny, 1942. One George V half penny, 1942. 
won threepence, 1956, uh, 1943 farthing, uh, probably an oars buckle. And uh, there's this button here, it's, I thought it might be uh, a Siemens button but looking at it under my glass it actually looks like uh, police constabulary but I'll have to do some research on that and have a look see what it is. Anyway, here's all my junk. Um, obviously I found the bezel off a fishing reel, some kind of key there, uh, nails, found this, you know, I thought it was copper, it's actually brass, but it absolutely it's got some weight to it, uh, you yeah, know, wish it was gold, uh, found a normal lead, a bit more lead, a bit of copper strip, eyelet off a, off a tent, um, yeah, obligatory uh, ring pulls, anyway, um, th this is down on the rocks, I timed it wrong actually, I thought, I didn't realise it was coming up for high tide, so by the time we got down there, the bit I was going to do, which is over here, it's uh, been covered in, but I might wait a while, because it usually turns pretty quick here, and uh, once it starts to turn it along cover, I can get in there and have a look, but uh, there's always that chance, and, and that's what it is, you've got to gotta have a go, if you don't have a go, you never know, do you, but uh, looking around at where I am now, all these rocks i thought this was just eroded from the sea but uh i've noticed there's uh bits of uh rock being broken away and you can see dynamite holes and all sorts so there must have been mining isn't it and if you look at that piece up there you can see it's actually in there and off a perfect square so it looks like they were taking blocks out for buildings and what have you but uh anyway if you, if you can see just over here we've got the black float there and there's another white float over the way there there diver shot uh, lines that's obviously where the charter is uh, and obviously what uh, happened on them uh, yeah around that time they were bringing the bodies up onto the shore that they was finding for th at least three days after and uh, they found bodies as far away as Liverpool washed up with with gold still in the pockets so I mean you know it's that old thing where, you know, where you've got to have a go and if you know, when you start talking gold, everybody gets the gold beaver, I don't care who you are. But uh, anyway, this is Marlborough, this is the site of the Royal Charter and uh, hopefully I'll do another video soon. But, you know, and who knows, it could be turning the rock over and finding the sovereign. Anyway, bye for now.